As the number of Zika cases in Florida continues to climb, precautions are being taken on the Treasure Coast to stop the spread of the virus. News Channel 5's Katie Johnson is live in Rio to explain more. Katie? Well, three years ago, we reported on another mosquito-borne illness right here in Rio. That was dengue fever. Today, I talked to a man who contracted dengue fever just a few streets away from where I'm standing, along with dozens of other people. He tells me today he's worried about whether the Zika virus can be contained to Miami-Dade County. About two or three weeks of just being really sick, and, you know, it was tough to overcome. This man, who did not want to be identified, contracted dengue fever in Rio three years ago. It's really bad fevers, um, body aches, loss of appetite, um, severe dehydration. He tells me he thought he was going to die. Today, he feels a heightened sense of fear as the number of Zika cases contracted in Florida continues to rise. I would hate to see anybody else go through something like I did or you know, possibly worse with the Zika. It's the same mosquito. You know, basically the same mosquito is just a different, different disease. Steve Noe with Martin County Mosquito Control tells me the department is doing everything it can to control the population of Aedes aegypti mosquito, which can carry both dengue fever and Zika. Our mosquito technicians are doing Zika sweeps uh, every day, all day. They're spraying neighborhoods five times a week in trucks like this one and flipping containers that hold standing water. It's boots on the ground. It's the only way to um, make any headway against Aedes aegypti. And employees here are confident their efforts will pay off. We, we were able to uh, defeat dengue and, uh, and not have it come back. Well, mosquito control staff urge everyone to do their part by getting rid of any standing water you may find in your, your yard. They also urge people across South Florida really to protect yourself when you go outside, especially at nighttime, by using insect repellent, wearing long sleeves and pants when you go outside to avoid any mosquito bites. We're live in Rio, Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5.